Hey guys, this is Am Aziz from Indie Development and it is Tech Time. Uh, today I'm going to continue with uh, the older part of uh, Machine Problem number 7 which is Black, black uh, Jack and we're going to continue with the second part of it. We already have this code so we're going to go ahead and continue with it. Um, as before we did do everything this function and we passed things to it and now we're going to continue writing the rest of the code for do everything. So the next function is, uh, we're going to give cards to the players. So give cards right here. And we're going to pass to it players' names, as usual. Uh, and we're going to pass to it values. So player values. So we're going to give them how much they have. Uh, we can go ahead and do this function right under fill uh, dealer alphabetically, just because of that and it's going to be a void function give cards we're going to pass um, it's going to be the player's name is a string so string players names it's an array uh, we're also going to pass integer uh, players values also an array there we go um, so we're going to copy this actually copy it and go all the way up to the prototype section and put it under fill dealer not under shuffle cards the fill dealer right here semicolon there it is this is one of the prototypes now uh, let's go ahead and go back down and give cards so now we're gonna give cards to the players so in here and hand counter so it's gonna count how much in the hand uh, see out deal every one two cards and we're gonna put two end lines there it is so in here we're gonna go ahead and do the loop for it so for integer j you can choose whatever letter you want but I'm gonna just choose j zero uh, j is less than uh, cards per player so cards per player is two and in here instead of saying two we can put um, double quotes and then saying cards per player and there it is so deal everyone this X amount of cards which is like in here when you stand over it it will tell you that it's two right here so it will say two cards and right here we're going to continue uh, J++ obviously and right inside this for loop we're gonna fill it with another for loop int i equals 0 i is less than players num so uh, players number uh, it's not showing me players there it is players num right here uh, amount of players so we're gonna display we're gonna do it for four uh, for seven players or however amount of what you set the players to be so um, to fill the hand we need to do value or player value right here whatever players value at position I so we start from 0 we end in 7 uh, one by one plus equals hand the reason for plus equals because we give them two cards if we just do equals they will be equal to the last card we give them but if we do plus equals it will add the old card and the new card together we're gonna get from the hand the hand of 52 cards that we did right here let me just split the, split it right here and let me show you what I'm talking about right here see that let me go down a little bit see that card uh, hand and is 52 cards let me go down a little bit there it is uh, we're gonna get from the card at position um, open this and hand counter plus plus and end it dot get face so hand counter plus plus is because this hand counter right here is zero and we're gonna increment the hand counter but um, it's gonna increment right here so what's gonna happen is the player value of position I so first player gets the hand at zero so guess the first card that we shuffled guess the first card and then the hand counter goes to two so the next player would get the second 
uh, card so so on to one two three four so let me uh, run you uh, or let me show you on the word file right here so the first player would get this card and this card which is right here this card and this card which is right this one so first player second third four five six seven there's seven players the the eighth card would be given to the first player again just like when you give cards in a circle to your friends so let's go ahead and continue with it now we have given the players some cards we need to display them so to display them go here display the cards now right here we're gonna do a for loop uh, integer x equals zero because we need a different variable for this loop players num so uh, we're gonna display it according to seven players so we start from zero we go to seven uh, right here see out hand four a hand four for this player uh, name for this player's name at position X so first player's name we do is and we do hand at position X dot display and this will display the card at position uh, let's say zero at first and then the next one will be in a different position and see out and Right here, we're going to do hand at position x plus no, uh, players num, and we're going to close it dot display and see out value for this hand is value at position or players value at position X and then end of line right here let's actually uh, let's go ahead and close the source.cpp and so you can get a better view of this file right here so here it is uh, end line and then after it we can after we close this we see out end line end line just to separate things so here's what happened here hand for players uh, player at position X so first player and then second player and third player it gives the names and then it will do display it will display the X it will display first card and then and then the next time it's the second card and the third card and here the first zero plus seven is the seventh card so it will display the seventh card then the next time is then gonna display the eighth card because we give two cards for the player so right here see how see how hand for Andy is JH which is this one this first card and QH which is the eighth card because we give first player second third fourth fifth sixth seventh we're out of players we go back to the first player again to go back to the second player again third player again fourth player again and so on so that's why we do one plus seven is equal to eight so we get the first card and the second card without having to do to uh, the loop again and again so here here it goes and then the value is 20 which is by adding this one and this one that happened right in here here it is players value is equal to hand and hand counter that's how we got it and now we display it right here so if this doesn't make sense still please go ahead and ask me on youtube or indiedevelopment.co and i'll be more than happy to help you with it um, now that we are done with this function we can go back to do everything and in do everything we need to do uh, two more functions reach limit so this one we're gonna call it reach limit we're gonna pass to it players uh, names as usual well we always pass that to uh, functions just to know which player are we dealing with uh, player values we pass the values how much they have in their head and then uh, players players hit so we know when to stop uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this function right up uh, right above the do everything and it will be let me see where I should be put it in, uh, alphabetically reach limit will be right under gift cards so here's gift cards 
there it would be it would be here uh, alphabetically I, I just have to think of that and make sure that it's put in the right position before I do anything so void reach limit string player names an array and we're gonna pass to it uh, integer players va values and sorry about that uh, int players hit and close it open close brackets so right here we got the reach limit function and before we do anything let's just go ahead and copy the header always do that if you know that you're done with the function or just do it when you're done uh, gift cards right here semicolon you just put the header and put a semicolon that's it it's as easy as that uh, reach limit now we are going to code the reach limit function so integer um, so hit counter we're going to make a counter for the hits is equal to player players num times two uh, it's just uh, so this one is so that we we we're gonna give 14 cards only to the players that's why we need to know because if we have seven players we give them everyone is two cards that that means so in here instead of doing two uh, cards per player so we do that so we're only gonna give them 14 so if we have seven players and we have two cards per player it means 14 so we don't have to actually calculate that manually we can change whatever numbers we have and the, f the program will run just fine so and here if we have five players and we give each of them three cards then it will be 15 it will calculate it automatically uh, the next thing is integer x equals zero this is for one of the loops so let's go ahead and display here play the game who wants more cards so that's all what you always do and to end lines right here for x is equal to zero x is less than players num so only seven players uh, and x plus plus here we go now we're gonna start coding the whole for loop and right here we're gonna go to value at uh, position x plus equal hand at hit counter dot get face and see out player player uh, names at position x is getting another card so, though so I did this without explaining so because the the this statement would help you understand what is happening hand at position hand uh, or hit counter here it is um, that display so here we actually mistaked in the value uh, it's players values there it is so the player value right here plus equal hand at hit counter dot get face we we're gonna we're gonna the card value plus equal the hand at hit counter is gonna be the hit counter is at position 14 so after that we start taking um, dot get face and players at player um, player name we're gonna display the name is getting another card and then we do a hand at head counter uh, we're going to display that uh, to to the to the console so right here here after we displayed the hit limit we will deal two cards to everybody and here it is here's what I'm talking about player who, who wants uh, more cards so value of hand for Andy is now this we can display how much do they actually have a player uh, if they if they have less we're gonna give them more if they don't then we deal with it that way so um, in here see out and line and uh, hit counter 
plus plus. So uh, let's go ahead and put right here. See how this is what I was talking about. It's value of hand for this person player at position X and we're actually gonna continue players what is it player names right right there names at position X and is now player value where it is there it is uh, at S at X and we're gonna display three end lines just to format it in the right way so uh, what's going to happen is we're going to display value of hand for this player is now this after if 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 we want to give them two more cards we can but before we give them any cards we are we need to give them cards first right here so here uh, player values at position x plus equal hand at head hit counter that get face so we get that and we put it inside the player value and players um, is getting another card we display that the player is actually getting another card and, uh, I actually forgot to add one thing uh, before all this they only get the cards if they their their hand whatever they have in their hand is less than their hit so to do that we do a while value or a player value there there it is uh, at X is less than their uh, player hit at position X and it will be all the way until here let me format it this way and this one right here will be taken cut and put right under the while loop inside the for loop so what's gonna happen is if the player hit whatever he has is less than what he wants to reach so right here so uh, if the player is 20 and what hit his hit limit is 15 if he's more than his limit we don't give him cards but if he is less than his limit so 12 so Bob got two cards because his hit limit is under 17 two uh, we gave him a four he reached to 16. 16 is less than 17. We gave him another card until he reaches above that hit limit. So that's what's going to happen here. But if they are not, they, we, then we just display their name. Otherwise, we keep giving them cards. We say player got this card, and then we keep giving them cards until we display that, okay, they reach above their hit limit. This is what they have now. So um, the next function is going to be uh, display results because we gave the cards to everybody and we're going to display the results so right here and do everything display results we're going to pass player uh, values because we display what they have and player names we're going to display who they are and players actually players players names not player names and let's go ahead and put this function this function right above uh, do everything so it will be under display hit limit right here void display results it's a void function just because we're displaying everything we don't need anything else player values and it's an array string player names and it's also an array so we need to copy that header right here copy and it's above do everything but under display hit limit so right here semicolon all right let's go back to it here it is right here uh, I think I put it in the wrong area display results it shouldn't be here so I'm gonna take that away it should be under display hit limit and above do everything so right here there we go so uh, let me see the the prototypes are doing they they are correct and here we go so now let's go ahead and continue uh, see out results of this game and we, we start displaying with a loop integer i equals zero 
uh, i is less than player name uh, players num minus one i plus plus we're gonna go ahead and go inside here in the for loop so for um, that value players there it is players value at player players um, num minus one is he uh, actually actually uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete this because let me just think for a second and see what I need to do with this um, and under this for for loop so yeah we're, we're in the right spot uh, so and this and equal equal to uh, game limit and actually not not game limit um, players value this this is this is the in the wrong area actually uh, this is going to be an if statement not a for loop so value uh, if players value I uh, apologize about that it just programming needs a lot of thinking and uh, I had to stop and think about this one uh, so players now minus one uh, equal equal to game limit uh, see out the dealer beats player and we're gonna display player names at position x and I'll explain why we need to have another loop right here so for um, integer x equal 0 x is less than players num and minus 1 x plus plus and put it semicolon here there it is so here's what happened right here. We do minus one because we're not going to display the 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 dealer. And right here, player values, uh, player player num, which is the seven minus one. So if if the dealer is equal equal to twenty one, if he has twenty one, then he beats everybody. Nobody can win above him. So we just display the dealer beats this 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 and so on. Um, otherwise, uh, in here, we're going to do another if, if value at player, or actually, we're not going to do, um, actually, yeah, value at position i, and under it, we're going to do an else, not here, not yet, uh, at higher than game limit, and, um, I want uh, I want to see if you can catch this issue without without me saying something about it. So I'm gonna give it a second and then address uh, this one issue that we have right here. So in this this one is gonna be actually players value. It gave me players down just because I pressed enter right away. Um, I'm gonna address the issue in a second. Uh, and here we're gonna do see out dealer beats player and player name at position i and line. so this issue that uh, I was talking about is when when we have an if and we have another if these are separate ifs so what's going to happen is it's going to finish this if and go on to the next one and it will do different things so that's wrong what we need to do is get out of the whole for loop by doing break right here this kind of question comes on the exam so um, make sure that you know that break does get you out of for loops while loops whatever it is that you're facing so we need to have a break right here when we display everybody we're done we break we don't need to continue with this processing so here it is player beats if the player value is higher um, than the game limit then uh, player dealer beats player uh, actually let me see if player is higher than 21 then 
yeah, if the player if the player is actually higher than 21, then he automatically loses to the dealer. So that's why we put it right here. So the next else uh, statement is going to be deal with whatever other conditions there is. So in this else statement, we're going to do if player values at position uh, player num minus one. So if the dealer is less than or equal to game limit, which is 21, if he is the, if the dealer is, is less than t uh, 21, then inside what was going to happen is we're going to say if va uh, player values uh, for the player players now minus one is higher or equal to uh, players value at position I so this condition will test out if the player if the if the dealer is higher or equal than the normal player which is what is the issue here let me see this one is ending it uh, expected another bracket oh here we forgot a bracket right here let's close it so if the dealer is higher or equal to the other player dealer is higher than the player then he wins so in here we see out dealer beats player um, actually so, yep and then we display a player names at position i so if he is higher or equal then he wins else um, otherwise then the player is higher than uh, the dealer and he is less than 21 then he wins that's the only way that the player can win so player player names at position i beats the dealer and let's put an end line right here and right here if the dealer is less than or equal to game limit else see out player Let me see, didn't we already deal with this? Um, higher than game limit. Player did. Uh, if player is less than or equal. Um, this one just just a safe condition, just in case uh, beats the dealer. We don't necessarily need it, this one, because we already test out like player values at uh, position height, like if uh, actually this one this one is testing the player so it's not testing the the player value so it's not testing the dealer the player value player num at minus one is the dealer so if the dealer is less than or equal to 21 then we go on to test the condition if he wins or not but if he is above 21 then he automatically loses to the player so let's go ahead and put a C out end line right here at the end of it all end line all right now let's go ahead and run the code and see what happens no let's see what the issues are in, in this uh, function so let's see let me see what the issue is so after looking at uh, the issues in here, it seems like that uh, Visual Studio 2012 doesn't like certain things. So we're going to have to change a few things, like right in here. We're going to copy everything. So I'll, I'm going to just zoom out a little bit, um, even more, actually, because we already wrote these uh, codes and we don't need to write them again. So you can just select everything in uh, card functions right here and until the end. and cut it then we can delete uh, card functions like that remove and um, instead of remove just delete permanently and double click on card.h and under it just paste everything um, I used to do it this way 
and I do it this way generally I just wanted to do it a different way because that's how we do it in class but this is also a good way just because you see the functions right here you see the variables right here it's easier for you so we can go ahead and do that that's not a big deal just because Visual Studio 2012 doesn't like it so we can keep that this way uh, just like like I said just cop, uh, cut and paste everything right under the class uh, we can go ahead and close it uh, a, few a few issues right in here that we missed and I'm gonna zoom out just a tiny bit there we go um, we had an issue with if let me see where it is it's uh, in one of the if statements and actually it is in gift cards so let's go ahead and find gift cards where is it? it's right here um, I made a mistake in one of the um, in here it was uh, less less than less than and you cannot do that, it's just like doing um, uh, equals one time instead of equals equals inside uh, if statement. So it's one less than and then now it's going to do it just fine without any issues. Um, I also made a mistake, uh, or not a mistake, I just, this is just for your um, benefit. Displaying cards, see out, end line, end line. Uh, you can put this end lines right here. Uh, if you want, if you don't, if you don't want to, you're gonna suffer from seeing it the right way. So let's just make your life easier. Uh, let me run through it and see did I miss anything else. Um, we seem like we are all good right here. Uh, things like that that would mess you up on an exam or anything like that. It's just one simple less than, and everything messes up. So you gotta watch out what's going on. So let's go ahead and run it. Uh, debug start without debugging and let's see it seems like there is an issue uh, oh okay I don't know which one uh, in the input file the this extra enter it the homework comes in with an extra enter you can catch it but I don't want to have to make you go through that so we can go ahead and take it away so uh, we just run it one two three four five six seven this is seven players and there's no end line after that so we can go ahead and run it and here it is it's running just fine there's what happened first we shuffled the cards then we swap them and to make sure that it is the right way uh, see this 58A I'm gonna close it run it again there it is K2J now it's different every time it's gonna be different display your name here this is a shuffle deck play your name and hit limit there it is all of them everyone uh, gets two cards K and then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means the user gets the eighth, eighth one. So because of that, we get the first one and the next one. And then this is two for the second player. Here it is. That's why I, I made remainder six, remainder seven. So I can just look at it. I don't have to count and get what card it is. I know which card is given, which card is going to be the next one. And here's the players. Uh, play the game. Who wants more cards? value for Andy is 17 he gets three cards until he uh, or actually this is Bob got uh, four cards to reach above his limit same thing with other players until the end value for hand uh, is for dealer is now 17 um, results of this game here is the results uh, dealer beats Andy dealer beats Bob Kathy player David beats the dealer because David, where is David? Here's David, 21, he got 21. So let's play it again. And this time, um, dealer actually beat two players because the dealer got 27. Um, but even though he got 27, the other players have above 21, so they lost, and so on. So here's the game, and this is a, a really long game, and it took me some time to write it when I was uh, taking the class. It's not uh, a little easy, it's just you need to think about it and give it some time and uh, it's right here right in front of you if you have any questions at all just go ahead and ask on my youtube channel or indiedevelopment.co in the forums or under the tutorial itself every file all the code is going to be under the post itself if i have made any mistakes uh, please let me know i would like to fix them um, if uh, you have any questions like i said uh, visit one of the two pages uh, please like and subscribe and tell me whatever you wish to learn other than that I'm gonna move on to the next tutorials for C++ the advanced one 
and uh, from there I'm gonna move on to maybe C sharp or something so if you have something you want to cover please go ahead and tell me and please like and subscribe and thank you for watching